Kessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight, as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Maryland Terrapins and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. We're delighted to bring you the national championship game. This is it, folks. The college football season's come down to this one final game. Here come the Nittany Lions. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? Penn State has a guy at wide receiver that everybody's talking about, and for good reason. He's the strength of this offense, an offense that can really spread the ball around. Lee, watch for him to come up big in this one. Kirk, great minds think alike. <laughs> but I disagree with you here. Kirk and Lee were just about set to see how right you are. Let's send it down to the field. Here's the Coca-Cola coin toss. Penn State, State is, is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Sends it sailing downfield. Weaver fields it in the end zone. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Well, this quarterback is definitely the player to watch today. But he better watch out for these athletes on the defensive line. The key to this game is going to be the battle up front. If the offensive line can give this guy time to throw, he'll pick apart this defense. But if they let this pressure get to the quarterback, it could be a very long day for this offense. Yep, they'll be coming at him all day. But I think this kid will have a good game. He has a strong arm, good touch, and he's smart in the pocket. That, my friend, is the complete quarterback. Maryland lines up with three receivers. He steps up, wants to throw outside, catches it. Ratliff with the tackle at the 41-yard line. These days, you need a running back who can not only run the football, but who has good hands as well. Yeah, and this kid just put his hands on display. That's a great pickup by this back. First, first, down. first down. Ball on the 41-yard line. Maryland comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Looks to pass. Let's it fly. Oh, tackles him at the 47. Five, maybe six on that screen pass. Second it's second down and four to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. They're lining up in the 5-2. Moore with the give. And down he goes in the 50-yard area. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Third it's third down. Ball of the 50 yard line. Pittman lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. They go with the toss. Clark brings him down at the 44 yard line. So the halfback picks up the first. This is just a little finesse toss to the outside, and he was able to squeeze out a nice game. First We've ten. got a first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Maryland goes with the ace set here. Clark with a takedown at the 40. Second, second down and six to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Moore drops back to pass. He passes it. It's complete. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Three-yard loss there. Penn State has one of the most rock-solid defenses in the country, guys. You just look at the stats, and these guys rank in the top ten in the country on defense. And they don't do anything too special either. They just play hard-nosed defense, and it works. He gets hit out of bounds at the 22-yard line. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep. Give the receiver some credit, too. He got open and made a nice catch for the first down. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Moore, back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Incomplete. Harper was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. Second it's the ninth ten. play of the drive. Ball on the 22-yard line. Here's the give. Young brings him down at the 20. Pittman picks up two yards with a carry. Third so far eight. this drive, the Ball defense has been yard. unable to stop them on third down. Pittman alone in the backfield. Moore on play action. He keeps it. Smith with the tackle at the 16-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. So it's fourth down. This will be a 33-yard field goal attempt. Maryland is looking to go up by three. It's up. And it's through the uprights. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Decent kick. Butera has it at the five. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. They'll take over. We'll start the drive at the 22-yard line. First and ten. They use four linebackers. Anderson drops the throw. Anderson delivers. His receiver has it. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Good yardage that time on the pass. The thing that makes this play work is the quarterback. He throws this thing right in there. What an arm this quarterback's got. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Ends it off. He's hit and got away. Tackled for a loss. Loss of two by the halfback. Tell your quarterback to stand in there and make a play. This defense has just been spectacular this season. Yep, they have some wonderful athletes on the field. These guys... Anderson drops to throw. Looks. He throws it. And he's got him on the run. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get open through the zone coverage. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. The defense sets up in the nickel. Caught. Newby gets in the backfield for a loss. They stop for a six-yard loss on the play. It's a big down right here. You got to throw in this situation. Second From their own 47-yard line. The 47 it's second and long. Penn State comes out of the shotgun. He looks, throws it out there, completes another one. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. They're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. Let's see how well you can run this play. Penn State has been pretty good on offense this year, guys. Pretty good is an understatement, Brad. The Nittany Lions line up with four wideouts. Cut. Anderson still has it. Looking. Anderson fires. They can't connect. Incomplete. Just couldn't drag a foot inbound. And it would have been one.
Red zone play is crucial to winning and losing. As a coach, I'm concerned about First not turning ten. the ball over here because that means taking points off the board. Penn State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's first and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. Stevens alone back. He's rolling right. Looks. Fires. Touchdown, Penn State. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. And he hits the PAT. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Penn State to kick this one off. Weaver and Pittman back deep to return. He kicks it off. Weaver takes it at the four. Makes the move. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 21. At the 21 yard line. First and 10. They're in the eye. Setting up the play action. He passes it. And it's caught. A little juke. Tackle made at the 30 yard line. And he threw that ball in there nicely. Did you see that, Coach? Yes, I did, Brad. And that was a good pass and a very good game. Second and it's one. second down and a ball yard to go. 30 yard line. Fakes to the back. He throws it. Has it to the senior. Hall with a takedown at the 47-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that. He made a great lead and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. He set up and put the ball right there where he had to go. Nice play. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. Brought to you by Coke. Maryland lines up for the shotgun set. Looks to pass. Steps up. He's looking for his man. As his fullback, and down he goes at the 45-yard line. Gain of two. Gain of two on the play. So the 45-yard line. And second down and eight. Maryland in a four-wide set. Moore hasn't missed yet. Moore lets it fly. Mitchell tackles him at the 23. They didn't get much on that pass. You know, this defense is too quick for plays like that to work. You kind of mix them up a little. They line up at the 43. Third down and six yards to go. Maryland comes out in the shotgun. Moore, back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. And this one falls incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down, coach. That was a tough pass to hang on to. But on third down, I think that's the catch you have to work six. And they're ready to pump this one away. The Nittany Lions take a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. Fourth and six. It's fourth down now. And we'll see the punt team. Steven is the deep man awaiting the return. He punts it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Looks, he guns it. The senior makes the catch. He's all the way down to the 47-yard line. That'll get some good yardage for the receiver. This kid is one heck of a wideout. He's the guy you got to get the ball to as much as you can because he can do things that make you say, whoa. First, First and 10. ten. Ball, ball on the 47 yard line. Yard line. Maryland comes out in a 3 4. Anderson options out. Laterals back. And they make the stop at midfield. Stevens gets three yards on the play. As a quarterback, 
you've got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. Second, Second and seven, seven coming up here. Ball, ball right around midfield. Going with the shotgun here. Anderson steps back to pass. Anderson throws. And he pulls it down. And he's all the way down to the 23. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. I'd run the option right here. It's one of the hardest plays to defend. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. Going with the shotgun here. Anderson on the option left side. Pitches back. The back gets three on the carry. This is awfully close. As long as you don't make any mistakes, you can come away with some points. Preferably on the touchdown. Maryland lines up in a dime defense here. Surveys the field. Over the middle. He's taken down at the four. And fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. And more importantly, they've kept this defense on the field. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Anderson hands it off. No, play fake. When you're in the red zone, you're real close. But close is not good enough. You've got to come away with a touchdown right here. They use four linebackers. Anderson with the give. Brown brings him down for a loss. That counter didn't fool anybody that time. They shut that run down in a hurry. Great play by the defense. Yo. That's a bunch of yards ago. And that's a third. third you just got to know how far you need to go to make that first down. Anderson is back in the gun. Look at the throw. Rolls right. Fires. Into traffic and it's picked off. Great time to come up with his first interception of the season, Kirk. Every possession counts in this game. And with the score being this close, that interception can turn out to be very big. They'll set up shots at the total at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Moore lines up with four wideouts. Looking, he flings it. Complete. Brought down in the open field. Maryland will take a timeout. Second it's second six. down, six yards Ball to go. Long on the 24-yard line. The Turks are lining up with three receivers. Moore, back to throw, comes across the middle, and it's the senior. Clark with the tackle at the 42-yard line. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves to play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. First, First down, ten. 10 to go on the 42. Yard line. Maryland in a four wide set. He lets it go. Catches it. Nice little catch there, huh, coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. Wide short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. They line up at the 48. Ball in second and third. Maryland lines up with three receivers. He's going right. He can't miss. Way to look it in. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Here's the offensive production statistics. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. This defense is in the dime. Moore gives it up the middle. And the offense picks it up. Paul tackles him at the 32-yard line. They dodged a bullet right there, guys. Boy, did they. That halfback has got to keep both hands on the football. Coaches hate it when they're running backs from the football. They are supposed to have the best hands on the football team. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 32-yard line. 
Moore lines up in the shotgun. Looks. And he's sacked. Moore lines up with four wideouts. Moore has completed every pass this drive. Someone got a hand on it. So that'll bring up the fourth down. The coach spoke really highly of this kid before the game. Now I can see why. If this guy keeps making plays like that, then there will be a lot more people than his coach talking about him in the future. Maryland comes out with an eye formation. Moore has his work cut out for him here. He's in trouble. Sacked. And they'll turn it over. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big-time plays. They'll start at the 47. The Nittany Lion line up in an eye formation. Throws it. His receiver has it. How about that pass, fellas? Well, oh, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. They'll work from the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Looks. Anderson slings it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And the wideout had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what, he was holding on for dear life there. I don't think he was concerned about the ball too much on that play. Not ball on the 33-yard line. Second down. Penn State lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Surveys the field. Let's it go. They connect again. Penn State will take their last time out. I like this one. We'll see what you can do with it. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. He drops back, looks, fires a bullet over the middle. It's it. Nice timing by the safety to get there and knock it away. Yep, that's his job, and he did it perfectly on that play. This is why you have a kicker. Let the kid do his thing. Second so it's second and ten. ten. Ball of the 13. The Nittany Lions come out in the shotgun. Option. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. The quarterback ran it all the way in for a score. You can't forget about the quarterback out there. Right there, the defense didn't account for him, and that's why he was able to get into the end zone. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. And he adds the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Penn State is lining up to kick this one off. Kicks off. Weaver takes it from the six. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. The Terrapins go with the I formation. Moore hands it off straight ahead. And down he goes at the 28. You can feel it in the air tonight as we're only one half away from crowning the national champions. Our halftime score, Penn State 14, Maryland 3. The Maryland will be kicking off to start the second half. Decent kick. Gutierrez fields it at the 9. At the 30. Down the sideline. That return should help the offense out. Yo, this kid is a sensational kick return. He did a perfect job of reading his blocks on that kick return. Almost perfect. And that's what I said. Almost perfect. 
The Nittany Lion come out in the shotgun. Looks, lets it fly. It's deflected. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Gutierrez was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second they line ten. up at the 48. Oh, on the 48, it's second down. Anderson back in the gun. Anderson locks his out. Tell your kids that this is where they earn their stripes. Third they line up at the 46. Oh, the 46. Third down. The defense is playing the pass on this one. He's looking. Rolls to the left. Fires. He snags it. Smith with the tackle at the 34. And that catch right there just pushed him over 1,000 yards, fellas. Well, this is a great accomplishment for anyone. 1,000 yards receiving is pretty special. First and 10. Ball on the 34. The turn. Come out in the 34 defense. It's the tailback. Great move. And he's taken down at the 19. They can just feel it, can't they? Oh, boy, when you have a lead in a national championship and your line is making holes like that, watch out, sweethearts. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. He's rolling left. Going to the end zone. He brings it down. Touchdown. A great throw, and that's his second touchdown catch of the game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And they line up for the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. Over four minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And the score, Penn State 21, Maryland 3. Miller looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Weaver from his own end zone. He shoots him. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 17. First and ten. Maryland goes with the ace set here. Moore looking to throw on first down. Throws off his back foot. They can't connect. Incomplete. The ball is roughly separated from the receiver by the defender. And that's the way you play defense. Rough and tough. And and no apology. Ball on the so it's second and ten. Ball on the 17. The Turks line up in an eye formation. Moore drops to throw. Throws it to the outside. It's caught one-handed. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. First yep. ten. Give the receiver some credit, too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. The Terrapins line up with a single set backfield. Tries to shoot. And he just got drilled. Pittman gets about a yard on the play. Second it's second nine. down. Ball on the 31 yard line. Maryland comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Feeds it to the back. They'll bring him down. At the 39, Pittman gets eight yards on the play. Third, Third down, ball of the 39-yard line. Defense! Defense! The Turks line up with trips right. Young brings him down at the 41. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down ball and get a fresh set of down and continue to move the ball downfield. Moore has four receivers lined up here. He'll keep it on the ground again. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. 
And he busts a big one on this defense. Boy, this halfback is running the ball. I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. Brought to you by Coke. The defense is playing the pass on this one. McGinty on the give. Watkins brings Number him down three, for a loss. The, carry. the big one fella couldn't get any momentum going. It's tough to get this guy down in the back. He's always level. falling forward. But on that one, they hit him before he could get his weight going forward. Six DBs in the lineup. Direct snap to the back. Rowe with the tackle at the 44-yard line. Pittman gains about four yards on the play. Third Still lined up seven. again on third All down. 44 yard line. Moore with three wide receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Hit as he throws. Cotton. Well set up. Sheds that one. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Man, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. I've run the option right here. It's one of the hardest plays to defend. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Anderson on the option. He lateral. Spins up field. And he puts it on the turf. Defense says they've got it. And they do. Not much luck running the option there, Coach. No, running the option takes tons of practice. And it looks like these guys need to practice well, really hard. First down, 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. They'll work from the shotgun. Direct snap to the back. Lee tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. He brought him down with a face mask, so this is a pretty easy call. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. He took him down using his face mask, and that'll be a 15-yarder. You betcha. And that's the worst way to bring a man down. March it off, refs. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Thirty-six-yard line. Moore lines up in the shotgun. The running back has it. And they make the stop at the 18. And that's their third first down of the drive. Great blocking and great running equals a very successful offense. And they've looked really good on this drive, Coach. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. No one picks up the fullback. Number three. Number three. Pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, Second you're doing six. pretty good. Oh, oh, Second down and six. Maryland lines up in the shotgun set. Moore drops back to pass. Moore goes down with a sack. Third and about 15 yards to the sticks. The Turks. Line up with three wide. Stepping up, looking. Watkins comes up with a sack. That makes four sacks today. This defensive front is tough, and they're really, I mean, really fast, too. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Cantrell lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Moore back to throw. Look. Look out. Caught. Puckin hits him in the backfield. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and he got to put it all on the line. They'll get the ball here at the 31-yard line. Penn State in a four-wide set. It goes straight to the back. 
Knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Stevens gets six yards on the carry. Our national championship game is one quarter away from naming the number one team in the country. Our score, Penn State 21, Maryland 3. My goal is to move the ball downfield, but I don't want to give away my entire game plan. Second and four. It's second ball and four. Ball the 37-yard line. Penn State lines up for the shotgun set. He rolls out to the left. He's taken off. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Penn State comes to the line with three wide. It's complete. And they'll get him in the backfield. They lose four there. I'd get the linebackers to bite on a run, and then I'd throw it downfield right, right here. Second 14. Second down. Ball on the 42-yard line. The defense sets up in the dime. He looks. He throws. He goes up and gets it. He threw a strike that time, Coach. You ain't kidding. That kid's got some kind of arm, and it carried him to a big game right there. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Penn State lines up with three receivers. Lester hits him in the backfield. When you've got a bunch of yards to gain, your players might be a little excited. I calm them down ball. right here. Ball From the 32-yard 32 32 line. line. It's second down and a long ways to go. The defense sets up in the nickel. He's looking to pass. He zips it. And he brings it down. He's taken down at the nine. Nice catch by the receiver. That reception put him over the century mark for the day. And you want to know something, Kirk? What's that? This receiver is the real deal. He's a great playmaker. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. Drop back to pass. Surveys the field. Looks to the end zone. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. And this guy is turning in one monster performance. No doubt about it. That's his third touchdown of the day. Kirk, how's he getting so wide open? It's really not too crazy. He's just running good, clean routes and catching the ball when it comes his way. And he converts the extra point. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Penn State 28, Maryland 3. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Pittman fields it in the end zone. I don't think we'll see this offense get into a similar situation this time. So you think they'll convert on fourth down if they go for it again? Hey, why not? If you're having to go for it on fourth down a lot, you're not doing so hot, sweetheart. Pittman is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Here's the give. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Pittman picks up a yard on the play. Second, Second and nine. nine. Ball on the 22. Yeah. Maryland comes to the line with three wide. Yeah. Moore steps back to pass. He throws a dart. Parker with a fumble. Mitchell with a recovery. A nice recovery there by the quarterback. He's used to going after interceptions, but a turnover is a turnover. And he'll take it any way he can get it. I couldn't agree with you more, Coach. Thanks, Kirk. That's what I like to hear. Anytime, Patton. The Nittany Lions line up in an eye formation. And up the middle. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. And Just nine. run between the ball tackles ball and kill some time ball. off that clock. Maryland going with a three-man front. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. Steven gains around three yards on the run. So that'll make it third down. This play should work out very nicely. Third, third down. Six. six. The turn, bring in their dime package. Smith gets in the backfield for a loss. 
A loss of about six. This is a field goal situation. Four Four pull out the kicker. Ball. It's fourth oh, down. The field goal attempt will be about a 47-yarder. This will just add insult to injury. He gets it up. And it splits the upright. He looked pretty good kicking the ball there. Yep, the kicker did a good job of keeping his head down and striking the ball right between the goal posts for a long field goal. He sends it off. Pittman takes it at the four. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I like a team that never quits. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. The Terrapins line up with three wide. They'll give it off here. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Yard First and 10. Ball on the 32. Moore with four wide receivers. Throws this one out to the left. This one is incomplete. Cotton was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. They line up at the 32. So it's second and 10. The Turks come out to shotgun. Schmidt tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Third, it's third and 11. Ball on, the ball on their own 21. And passing situations like these are when this defensive end is at his best. Hawken tackles him for a loss on the play. That gives this defensive unit five sacks for the ball game. The defense came into this game with a game plan to put the pressure on a quarterback. It's safe to say they're happy with their performance. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Steven is back deep to return the punt. He gets it off. Steven fields it to 29. He just got shut down on the punt return. Yeah, in situations like that, Brad, it's probably best if you just call for a fair catch. This drive will start at the 30. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Steven on a counter. Can't wrap him up. Big run right there, Kirk. These kids have been working all year to get into this game. And we talk about how offense wins games, but defense wins championships. Well, this defense has to come up with better plays than that if they want to take home the hard way. They use four linebackers. Breaks one. He shoots. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. That's the type of run that got these guys here. Absolutely. This is a perfect example of how a championship running game can get the ball down the field. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off that clock. They're packed in tight on the line. Again with a carry. Jake's off a tackle. Brought down at the 31-yard line. And remember one thing that this coach said. They will force it down this defense's throat until they prove that they can stop it. First down. Three-man front defensively. Steven gets another carry. That's a three-yard pickup. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just Seven run between the tackles ball and ball kill ball some ball time ball. on that clock. The Nittany Lions. Come out in a two tight end set. Anderson gives it up the middle. He spins. Harwell with a takedown at the 20 yard line. Kirk, my friend, this is exactly what you want out of your back late in the game. The ability to keep the clock moving and continue to pick up first down. Yeah, I mean, no question. This is the time when you let him carry the team to the finish line. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters most. Juku, newbie, with the tackle at the eight. Nice run there. And I got to tell you guys, the offense is making things look pretty easy on this drive. 
Yep, the defense just hasn't been able to make a play. They could have shut him down a few times, but they just haven't been able to do it. Now it's time to step up. On the ground, up the middle. He's in, another touchdown. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offense coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. They'll line up for the extra point here. And he converts the extra point. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Penn State 38, Maryland 3. Penn State to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Takes it at the four. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense. They forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. They finally bench their quarterback. And the backup's in now. He tries to juke. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. He reels off 10 yards on the counter. That'll do it for this year. We have our national champion after a great game and a great season of college football. Guys, what can you say about our national champs? Penn State put on a show tonight and really had a chip on their shoulder coming into this game. They felt they had something to prove, and boy, did they ever do it. What a year and what a statement. No question, this is the best team in the country.